Question 1. What is Ruby programming language? Answer. Ruby is a dynamic, reflective, general purpose, open source programming language that focuses on simplicity and productivity. Ruby has a mixed features of Perl, Smalltalk, IFO, Ada, and Lisp. Ruby was designed to create a new language which makes a balance with the functionality of imperative languages. Question 2. Why Ruby is known as a language of flexibility? Answer. Ruby is known as a language of flexibility because it facilitates its author to alter the programming elements. Some specific parts of the language can be removed or redefined. Ruby does not restrict the user. For example, to add two numbers, Ruby allows to use plus sign or the word plus. This alteration can be done with Ruby's built-in class numeric. Question 3. Mention what is the difference between a gem and a plugin in Ruby? Answer. Gem. A gem is a just Ruby code. It is installed on a machine and it's available for all Ruby applications running on that machine. Plugin. Plugin is also Ruby code but it is installed in the application folder and only available for that specific application. Question 4. List out the few features of Ruby. Answer. Free format. You can start writing from program from any line and column. Case sensitive. The uppercase and lowercase letters are distinct. Comments. Anything followed by an unquoted hash to the end of the line on which it appears is ignored by the interpreter. Statement. The limiters multiple statements on one line must be separated by semicolons, but they are not required at the end of a line. Question 5. Explain about garbage collection feature of Ruby. Answer. Garbage collection is a process of reclaiming the memory space. Ruby deletes unallocated and unused objects automatically. This feature can be controlled by applying proper syntax and program through Ruby. Ruby performs garbage collection automatically. Ruby is an object-oriented language and every object-oriented language tends to allocate many objects during execution of the program. Question 6. What are the different environment variables present in the Ruby? Answer. Following are the different environment variables present in the Ruby. Ruby op, Ruby lib, Ruby path, Ruby shell, Ruby lib underscore prefix. Question 7. Explain about float, dig and max. Answer. Float class is used whenever the function changes constantly. It acts as a subclass of numeric. They represent real characters by making use of the native architecture of the double precision floating point. Max is used whenever there is a huge need of float. Dig is used whenever you want to represent a float in decimal digits. Question 8. What is the use of interpolation in Ruby? Answer. Interpolation is a process of inserting a string into a literal. It is a very important process in Ruby. A string can be interpolated into a literal by placing a hash, hash, within, open and close brackets. Question 9. What is the use of global variable dollar in Ruby? Answer. The global variable is declared in Ruby that you can access it anywhere within the application because it has full scope in the application. The global variables are used in Ruby with dollar prepend. Question 10. What is the use of load and require in Ruby? Answer. In Ruby, load and require both are used for loading the available code into the current code. In cases where loading the code required every time when changed or every time someone hits the URL, it is suggested to use load. In case of auto load, it is suggested to use require. Question 11. What is Ruby Gems in Ruby programming language? Answer. Ruby Gems provides a standard format for distributing Ruby programs and libraries. It works as a package manager for the Ruby programming language. Ruby Gems is now a part of the standard library from Ruby version 1.9. Question 12. Overview of Ruby programming language. Answer. Ruby is a dynamic, open source programming language. It focuses on productivity and simplicity. The syntax is elegant which is natural to read and easy to write and use. The language is flexible since it allows the developers alter freely all its parts. At will, one can remove essential parts and redefined. For instance, the symbol plus can be redefined by the word plus to one of the its classes. Numeric. Ruby supports multiple programming paradigms such as functional, imperative, object-oriented, relative, dynamic memory management and dynamic type systems are additional features of Ruby.
Question 13. Explain about Ruby code blocks. Answer. Ruby code blocks form an important part of Ruby and are very fun to use. With the help of this feature you can place your code between do and and you can associate them with method invocations and you can get an impression that they are like parameters. They may appear near to a source of the code and adjacent to a method call. The code is not executed during the program execution but it is executed when the context of its appearance is met or when it enters a method. Question 14. What is Rails? Answer. Ruby on Rails is a web application framework. It is written in Ruby. Compared to other frameworks for web application, the big deal is the way Ruby on Rails does. A web application finished in days instead of weeks. It is noticed by the community. Maintenance and or extension of messy and hard web applications is flexible with Ruby Rails. Question 15. Explain about interpolation. Answer. Interpolation is a very important process in Ruby. Interpolation is the process of inserting a string into a literal. There is only one way in which you can interpolate a string into a literal by placing a hash hash within open and close brackets. This refers to a new name to by referring to the copy of the original method.